Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Jalen Rose, we're in the middle of the NBA preseason. You know, people, they, they try rosters. They try different matchups. There was a matchup between the Celtics and the Cavs. We had a hold me back moment. J.R. Smith gets tangled up. <laughs> Aaron Baines. <laughs> and then we get Marcus <laughs> Smart gets himself involved. A little push to the back. Hold me back. And everyone gets held back. After the skirmish, that was a funny part. <laughs> they tackled, they tackled them. He gets sent back to the, fans. to the locker room. A little wave from Jr. It was cute. You know, I liked it. And then after the game, they asked Marcus Smart about it, and here is what Marcus had to say. I told him to come back to the back. You know what I'm saying? All that on the court. We can, we can handle that off the court. I ain't with that. And that's on my mama. May she rest in peace. Ain't no punk right here. Man, on my mama, may she rest in peace. Dead. So, whatever happened, happened. JR know where I'm at. Everybody know where I'm at. It is what it is. Okay, Marcus Smart, definitely not a punk. However, he did say, I told him, come to the back, and we can handle it off the court. Jalen Rose, it's time for you to take us behind the curtain. See, people like me... We go to the games, but we sit in the, in the stands. People like you go to the games, and you go underneath the stands in the tunnels, in the in the innards of the arena. If you wanted to fight somebody after the game that was on the opposing team, could you do so? Take me through the logistics and the scheduling and the motions of how it all works. On my KRS-1, we're not promoting violence. We're just having some fun. Okay. Talking about two individuals who got into a verbal skirmish out on the floor, and Marcus Smart and J.R. Smith, who continued to carry it on. Here's how it works. When you're the road team, you don't have much real estate, first off. Mm -hmm. All you have is a little hallway and a little room for everybody to change and barely enough showers for everybody to take at the same time. Okay. Number one. So the home team clearly knows where that space is. Two, in Cleveland in particular, everyone leaves out of the same door. Oh. And the bus where the opposing team is parked, guess what, guess what it's by? All of the players' cars. So they all are in the same parking lot, the same area. So when you're leaving, you see a lot of opposing players when you leave or whatever. When you leave, you see everybody from the opposing team directly or indirectly if you want to. You see the fans. You see the players. You see the families. You see the staff of the team. You can physically see one another and – have an altercation if you chose to, something I don't encourage. And hopefully, when they have an altercation on the floor, team security understands that took place. It's heightened, so they intervene and make sure that things don't escalate. A little extra escalate. security by the bus, whatever. See, I am kind of a punk, unlike Marcus Smart. If I'm J.R. Smith, I'm taking an extra long shower. <laughs> I'm That's, taking a 30-minute well, shower here's what ends just, up just to make sure the bus is gone by the time I go out yeah, to my car. Here's what you know? ends up happening. I don't want it. Cooler heads prevail. Mm -hmm. Like, when you finish the game, you go into the locker room, you decompress, you with your teammates, you with your coaches. Yeah. I don't want to get in a fist fight right sheet, now. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. talking about what happened. You get in the shower. Sure. You're laughing and joking, especially if y'all won. And so at that point, the moment is gone. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what an altercation is about. Like, I'm engaging with you at the height of our dysfunction. Of course. Or when we're upset at of one course. another. 30 minutes later, it's not like street, a street fight. It's it just totally not the same because these guys are peers, and though they won't admit it publicly, they have a lot of respect for one another. Well, thank you for taking us behind the curtain, Mr. Rose. And JR has a history, recent in particular, with the Boston Celtics, so that dislike and that disdain is legitimate. Oh, he's got a long history with the Boston Celtics. Look at those playoff matchups.